SAFETY IN THE CITY. MAYOR DAVE BING HAS A MESSAGE FOR CROOKS AND A NEW INITIATIVE TO PUT THEM OUT OF BUSINESS. SOVEN ACTION NEWS REPORTER RONNIE DAHL TELLS YOU WHO IS BEING TARGETED IN THIS PLAN. The Detroit One Initiative is the latest plan to try and make the city safer. State, local, and federal law enforcement agencies joining resources, and they will be targeting the city's most violent criminals. We're coming to get you. Okay, uh, that's it. That's the message. Um, you can't hide anymore. Mayor Dave Bing sending a warning to the bad guys, and the men and women sitting alongside the mayor at a press conference have pledged their resources to back up Bing's warning. Uh, we currently just received 13 brand new troopers to the Metro Post that are part of the Safe Cities Initiative, and now we're going to get 20 more that are going to come here that are going to be stationed in and around the city of Detroit. Crime in Detroit has been spiraling out of control. Detroit police officers overwhelmed response to murders, shootings, robberies. Residents are fed up. I called one time and it came an hour later. Um, people in the neighborhood had strokes. People are dying, you know, getting shot. I mean, it's horrible. I Other programs to combat crime have been unsuccessful. The hope is the Detroit One initiative will be different. Officers will focus on a list of the most violent offenders. When they get busted, prosecutors will make sure they get locked up. It's worked in other cities, and since being implemented March 7th, it's showing promise here. We've made a total of 245 arrests. We've confiscated 41 firearms. We've conducted 105 narcotic raids. Statistics and research shows that it's really a relatively few number of people who are creating uh, the violence in our neighborhoods. If we can all be unified and going after those same violent offenders, we think we can have a meaningful impact on reducing violent crime. Under this plan, they hope to reduce gun-related violent crimes by 25% in 2013. In Northwest Detroit, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. All right, Ronnie.